So I'm at a park I used to love to take our kids to. It's up in Bloomington's Highland Park. And pretty soon I'll be taking my granddaughter here and I can't wait. And, and I think it's because this park is amazing. And when you see how the kids get so excited as they're running around and trying these crazy slides and climbing apparatus, it, it, you can't help but just feel excited for them. Well, the Apostle Paul wanted followers of Jesus Christ to live in hope. And in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, I love what he says. He's kind of praying a blessing over us. Listen to this. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Wow, that is so important for us. Paul is praying, Paul is writing a blessing. May the God of hope fill you, fill you with joy, fill you with peace. How? When you put your trust, as you continue to put your trust in him, so that, and here's what the calling is, so that you also may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's what I would long for us this week. My prayer and my encouragement to you is through your trust in God, may you find peace, may you find joy, may you be full of the hope that God has for you. Have you ever thought about that? God is a God of hope, and his desire for the people who love him is for them through his power to also overflow with hope on the people that he puts into our lives. And if there's something the world needs right now, it's hope. And folks, we follow, we serve, we love a God of hope. And so may we be vessels that God uses to overflow with the hope that he's given us through Jesus Christ. So my challenge, lean in. May the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you continue to put your trust in him. And through that trust, through that faith, may you also overflow with hope this week on the people that God has in your life. God bless you. May you be filled with the hope that only God can give. Can't wait to see you next week.